Welcome back. Well, you know it's going to be a good morning if we're joined by Brett Conklin, <laughs> and he is yeah. here to talk about a great cause this morning. Uh, that's been going for a, a couple years now, and it's probably a jug many people recognize. It's the Pennies for Polio jug, Brett, and uh, for people who aren't aware of it, could you explain a little bit about what it is? Yeah, this is our the Rotary Club of Marquette's second year of, uh, at putting these large yellow jugs out in the community <laughs> uh, to raise money for polio eradication, and, and uh, Rotary International has been involved in polio eradication since 1979. Um, like Vicki said earlier, you know, it's it, for us in the U.S., it's really not something that uh, we think about a lot, but it still is in the world. It's uh, polio is still endemic in two countries, um, Pakistan and Afghanistan. So uh, the good news is this is the second year we've done this program. Last year, uh, locally here, we raised $2,700. Wow. Um, and uh, through 2018, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which has been involved in um, Rotary's um, <clears throat> eradication efforts since the 1980s, they're matching every donation two to one. Uh, so our $2,700 actually turned into over $8,000. So, you know, our local, what seems to be a small impact mm -hmm. actually is a large impact because, you know, $2,700 becomes $8,000. And, and that, that makes a big difference because these resources are needed to to uh, you know to 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 get that polio eradication to where we need it we need it to be eradicated obviously so um, the good news is also we were successful from last year to this year last year in 2015 there were 74 cases in the world reported mm -hmm. um, so far in 2016 there have been 23 wow so we're making a difference yeah so hopefully next year I come back on here and I can say you know in 2017 we've had 10 yeah you know that's that's what we're after. A step so in the right direction right. just shows you a little bit goes a long way right. and um, of course we can have that impact. So for people who are curious about you know how they can get involved and do their part, uh, how do they do that? Well there are 85 of these big yellow jugs around Marquette. Uh, they're mostly in around the city of Marquette. There are a few out in Harvey. Uh, so if you see these out in a store, you know they're in stores, restaurants, banks, uh, just try to pitch in, you know, and uh, we were joking earlier, we'll, we'll take more than pennies. <laughs> so the name, the naming of the campaign might be a little self-limiting, but um, we'll take pennies, but we'll take nickels, dimes, quarters, and we'll even take that, uh, that even paper more, stuff, yeah. you know, so, uh, which we had a lot of last year, you know, and we appreciate it. But uh, so just pitch in, they're, they're on counters around, around the community. And, you know, if you can't um, pitch in and if you'd like to, um, Mail a donation. Yeah, uh, on the bottom of the screen there. There we go. Yeah, you can mail it right to the Rotary Club of Marquette at the address on your screen. So, um, you know, and something else, if, if you're not able to contribute to this, um, a lot of what's limiting the, the eradication efforts is kind of a political issue mm -hmm. and access issue. Just, you know, put your hopes and prayers into, uh, you know, the, the people on the ground that are trying to administer these vaccinations. Just uh, you know, pray that they can uh, have success and we can overcome these political issues. Because you know, if you, you see the the kid that's on this jug, I mean, there are a lot of kids like this that are suffering from this crippling disease, and you know, they're just precious children that don't deserve it. So um, you know, let's do it for the do it for the kids. Yeah, I think yeah. a very important message. And like you said, although we may not see them here in the United States, um, they're all God's children at the end of the day. So right. Uh, right do our part and. Um, like you said, a little bit really does go a long way, it does. Brett. It does. It oh. does. And you know, our you know, it's a community effort, and it's. And I'm not talking about Marquette or the UP. It's a worldwide community effort, and every little piece mm -hmm. it goes towards the, the overall cause, and and we're going to do it. And in, in the Rotary world, as if a few years ago, um, they 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 started saying we're this close, and we're yeah. we're, we're we're this close. <laughs> we're you know, it, and. Um, it's that final push that we need to uh, to take care of it. For All good. right. So be part of that push. And real quick, Brett, so people don't miss out on the yellow jugs. How long are they going to be out at our local? They're going to be out until around October 24th, which is World Polio Day. So you'll have. Uh, you know, all through October to donate to them. All right, but well, I want to thank you for coming in this morning and talking about a very uh, important cause here. Of course, you can stop by the Yellow Jugs. You got the address on the bottom of your screen. Help out. It's a great cause. Uh, Brett, thanks for joining us this thanks morning. Thanks for having me on. Okay. After the break here, uh, a little fun to uh, lighten our mood into a Thursday. We're going to hang out with Ansley Watson, who's celebrating National Coffee Day. Stay tuned.